hello hello welcome i'm gonna show you how i transformed this space from this to this don't go anywhere please stay tuned to start the transformation i will be using picture frame moldings on the wall i love wall moldings it makes any space look elegant and classy it just brings out a wow factor into a room. So, I stopped by to shop at my local hardware store, Lowe's to be precise, and I got 20 of these 8 feet long trims. They cost around $4.64 each. I only used 17 pieces total for two walls in a medium sized bedroom. These are the list of some of the tools that I used a matter box saw combo. Brad nails, hammer, ladder, leveler, measuring tape, and a pencil. To install the wall moldings, I started by measuring the width and height of the wall. Then I laid out my plan on a sheet of paper. Then I measured and lightly marked on the wall with my pencil the frame I would mount first. Here it was the left frame. So when it was time to install the first frame, I measured and marked four trims. Then using my metal box, I made 45 degree angle cuts on both ends on each trim. The angle orientation is the same for all four trims. As you can see, this trim can serve as the top, right, bottom, or left of the frame. Once all four trims were cut and ready, I placed them on the floor to see how it turned out. Luckily for me, I nailed it on my first trial. Yes, it was that easy. Now for the fun part, placing the frame on the wall. I started with the top trim. And of course, because I can be anal about everything, I had to measure my markings on the wall again. I hope you can sense the sarcasm in my voice. Anywho, I am not a regular Jane and I do not own any power tool, aka I do not have a nail gun, so I will be going old school with my hammer and nail. Oh, and also, this is a rental property. I want the least amount to zero damage on the wall in order to not lose my security deposit. This is why I'm using brad nails as opposed to finished nail and another reason why I'm using a hammer as opposed to a nail gun. I used the leveler to ensure the top trim was straight. This was the toughest part for me but once I got it straightened I did not need the leveler for the rest of the frame. Then I used the brad nails to secure the trim to the wall. Because of the curved shaped surface of the trim, I wasn't able to push the nail all through just like that. I had to use an additional nail on top of the already mounted nail to push it in. If I had bought the right size of this pin punch, I would have used that instead, but the nail worked just fine. Once the first frame was completed, to start the next frame, I used this stud as my spacer. It is exactly 3.5 inches wide, so it made my work really easy, as opposed to using a measuring tape, then a pencil, a leveler, and all of that headache. I got the stud I used a while back from Home Depot, but here I am at Lowe's showing you a similar one. It is eight feet long. I just had them cut it into four pieces for me. This only cost around
When hanging pictures or decorations, there is this hack I use, thumb tacks. Yes, thumb tacks. It holds up almost anything and leaves very small holes that are very unnoticeable, just like the brad nails. Too good to be true? No worries. I will link a video of this room after I had removed all the wall moldings, the decorations and pictures. Trust me, it was like nothing happened here. Can you see now how something so little can make a huge impact on aesthetics? These wall moldings were quick and easy to install and they do not leave behind any damages to the wall. They are, e they are even easier to remove and you can always reuse them when you move to another apartment. If you own your own place and wanted this to be more permanent, what you would do differently is to caulk the edges and nail holes for a more cleaner look. If you enjoyed this video and would love to see more of this, please like, comment and subscribe and I will keep making more videos like this. I have so much to share. Look at this, baby. The giraffe. I love it. Yep. Baby, let's buy it. Okay. No, this is like so. Do you know what Omonla means? Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. And I'll pick from the comments 10 lucky people to receive the digital copy of this art. You don't have to guess it correctly to win, but you do have to be a subscriber. That's how much I got it. 30 bucks for a pair. That's not bad at all. For a pair or for what? A pair. This can't work now. Aku. Blame is for food. Aku, pe, pe, this is almost chop. Why Aku? You never chop Aku before in your life. Aku? Uh -huh. It's not for food. It's not for food. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor interior designer. Yeah. Now we'll see how you